Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know my original video was going to be about layering and tips and tricks on how to do so many colors and so many little tiny details. But unfortunately, by, by the time I started editing this video, I re realized that I didn't record <laughs> anything but these two little flowers right here and I don't want to give you a horrible video. So to make up for it and because it was highly requested by so many of you, I decided to do still a layering video, <laughs> but I added on how to do an offset or uh, a shadow, the blue one in the back on Inkscape. And I did include a couple of tips and tricks on how to layer it. So I hope you guys enjoy and not completely mad at me over it. I hope you guys really enjoy it. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, so now let's jump into Inkscape. Just want to remind that everybody that this is a free programming that you download off the internet on the Inkscape website. Um, it can work on Windows or Macs. I'm using my Mac, so my settings and the commands that I use might be a little different than yours so just keep that in mind um, from what I'm aware of this is not a program that can be on the tablet or a phone it's just mostly for a computer on the left side click on the little a and click anywhere on this on the screen I like to keep it inside the square just my preference but it's really not needed type in my Instagram name which is the crafty C2 then you're gonna go back to the left hand side and click on the arrow on the first one and to zoom into that because I know you can barely see it you're just gonna press on your keyboard the number three and it zooms it in for you I am not gonna keep it this font I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to the very top row and click on this T right here okay so now that this popped up this is where all your fonts are gonna be and your font size that you can change it to. So for example, there's this one. And these are all the fonts that are on my computer. It might be a little different from the fonts that you have on your computer. But I'm going to, I know which one I'm gonna already do. I'm gonna keep it the same font that I had in the front of my little, little cute trash can. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just putting 72, but again, it really doesn't matter because we'll be changing that later. Okay, now we're gonna click apply and we can go ahead and close this out. You see it's not centered anymore. So go ahead and click three and I'll zoom it out so it, you can see it full screen. All right, so this following step is very important. When you do transfer this image to design space, it will not pick it up. So please, please <laughs> remember this is a very important step before I get to that part already everything in this font since it's a cursive font is already connected everything is perfect except for my preference is the C and the R right here which I'm gonna go ahead and fix right now doing this but other than that you could just keep everything the same if it really doesn't bother you so again back to the important step you're gonna go click path on the top and click object to path this will make it individual letters that you now have to connect. So the easiest way I can explain it to you is once you do this step, you can now transfer it to Design Space and it'll be able to read it. Just keep it simple <laughs> with the explanation. And we're gonna go to the second one on the left row, which is the Edit Path. We're gonna click that and you can see that every single letter is by itself, okay. So we're gonna click on everything hold down the shift button on your keyboard and click them all together I'm actually just gonna do that for now and I'm gonna go I can let go of shift I'm gonna go up to path again and Union okay the reason I'm doing that is because I'm actually gonna fix this like I said I don't I personally don't like it so I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna go back to the very select selector on the top left just so I can move it around and I can adjust my C okay and you saw how that little popped up where I couldn't really move it I'll explain that to you in a little bit with because we're gonna have to take that off for the following steps okay so we're gonna go back to the select path edit path I'm sorry and we're gonna go ahead now and just select everything we're holding down shift and clicking on everything 
because everything else is perfect I like the way that it is okay so now that everything is you're gonna go back to Union go back to path and click Union and now everything is connected and is as one now you can transfer this to design space like I said and I'll be able to read it okay so we're done with the most important step now we're gonna go back to select on the top on our mouse click right and duplicate this I'm actually just gonna go ahead and change the colors while having one selected you're going to go back to path you're gonna click on dynamic offset and you see that everything's gone except this one little diamond up here. This is what you're going to drag out to create the offset. But it won't let you due to the fact that this is on. Because enable snapping is on, which was what I was telling you earlier. So you're going to go ahead and go to the right hand section and unclick that. So now you can drag it out as little as you want, as much as you want, and it won't bring it back or move it around okay so I'm actually gonna go back to to selector and I'm gonna select this and move it all the way to the bottom so I'm gonna go to right here this one that's called lower selection to bottom just so I can see if it's good enough do I want it more so then I'm gonna go click on the purple let's say you at, you went back to selector, but you want it a little less or a little more and you can't move it around You're gonna to do that. You have to go back to sell edit paths. So you have to go back to that Let's zoom out a little bit. So let's press 3 and let's find the diamond Give it a second because it's loading and there you go click on the purple and It'll bring up the diamond again So now you can see might maybe this is all you want or maybe you want a little bit more. I like it like this. I want it a little bit thicker All right, so You could leave it like this you could leave with the little empty gaps right here And right here, but I don't personally like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to fix that so we're gonna go Click so we're gonna go and click path again remember that you have to have the shadow selected so you're gonna click break apart you see everything filled up don't press anything this is very important if you press anything you're going to have little those little squares that for example right here right here those paths are not going to be unified and when you go transfer it to design space it's going to have give you those to cut out too so don't click anything go back to path and press union and now everything's as one. So let's go click the select and now you can move it around and it'll be there. All right, so now you have that all set. So now you could just go ahead and save it. I'm gonna save as, and like I always suggest have a designated folder on my computer that is just of my SVGs. And I suggest everybody does that so they're not spread out and I'm gonna go ahead and just write my name. Mm -hmm. Ooh, spelled my own last name wrong. <laughs> and then I'm gonna save it. I always save mine as a plain SVG. Click save. And now we're gonna go into design space, which is now just an app, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna go click on new projects and upload i'm gonna go upload browse and mine's automatically pops up to the folder where i save all my svgs at always the first one for me you might have to look for it you could just search it up here in the search bar and then i'm gonna click open okay i already did everything on inkscape the way it uploads is already perfect so all i have to do is click save and i don't have to clean out anything so I'm going to click save, so insert image, and you see, as he said before, the font size and the size that you were doing it didn't ma doesn't matter because here in design space is where it actually matters and how big you're going to do it. And you see, 
uh, you can actually ungroup this and you'll see that it's two. And that's it, super simple. And here's where you can pick the colors. I just chose any random colors. I am actually gonna make this to follow the theme. You don't really have to change it, but just for visual pur purposes. I'm gonna make this a really pretty purple blue. And I'm gonna make this the purple that I was using before. So, it would look something like this. And I think that's really pretty. I'm actually debating about the colors now. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and adjust it to the size that I want, which I want it to be six point five. Let's go a little extra. <laughs> and then I'm actually gonna make this un unlock it and just make this two because I just want it to be a little bigger. It won't be that, that much of a difference. And then I'm just gonna lock it just to be safe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this out. All right, now that everything is cut, I'm gonna turn this over and peel it out like I always do. I'm gonna cut out the excess vinyl so we can use it for another project. So let's start weeding. I'm gonna start with the letters. I'm gonna use the method that I like the mess that I started doing, which is the lint roller. I just smack it down, and like you could tell, now it's not really going anywhere, no matter how much I really move it. So now you just lift this up, and now you could just peel it off and throw it away. We're gonna bring back our mat and I'm actually just going I'm still gonna keep the plastic sheet on but I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit just so the rest of the sheet the mat doesn't get dirty and I'm gonna place down you see I gave myself you know space still on the mat to put down what I'm using Okay, I'm going to grab my transfer sheet. I really have been liking this transfer sheet lately. It's like I like it a thousand times better than the the clear contact paper that I get from Walmart or Amazon. What I like to do is I like to peel it from a corner and just put a little bit down and then grab my scraper Ooh, it's starting to lift that. and then just slowly let it do on its own okay then I can just lift this up let's get this out of here and Try to give yourself enough space in the sides or wherever you're picking it up to be able to hold it because now you see I don't have enough space it, like enough grip to hold onto it. That's one big tip that I give when layering. What I also like to do is I start from a corner so I can either start from this end or this end and then try. So you see I'm putting this, this corner down like it's a little pressed down lightly that I could use it as an anchor and move this around to see where the rest would fit. And I think that's fine. There you go. And then I just scrape it all down. And now, if I lift it up, now it's it all comes up and it's perfect to transfer on. So, but before we do that, we're gonna grab our cute little trash can and clean this and a lot of people have been asking me oh, what's in this bottle and it's honestly just 90 percent alcohol <laughs> i just keep it in the spray bottle it makes it much easier and i know i should label it but i just <laughs> this is from a pro old project that i just stuck them on because i thought it was cute okay let's get you back in focus i grab a, of course a paper towel and i spray i use a paper towel to protect other areas i spray and then i clean and then you just want to let this air dry but try to clean it the best that you can 
because the better and the cleaner the surface is, the better it's gonna adhere. Your vinyl is gonna adhere to it. Let's put this over. Let's grab it. Perfect. And like I said, you always give yourself enough space to grab it on because look how much I'm grabbing it on here and how much I have more control over here. So don't learn from your mistakes. Give yourself enough space to grab on. Ooh, and look, we got this dirty. We don't want that there. This part's super simple. Just try to center it the best you can. I'm gonna lift it up. And voila, look, it's all done. Look how cute you have the front and the matching back. Trash can actually comes with two trash bags. I, you can tell I already have been using it, so I already have this one open. And all you have to do is take it out, peel it out, take this part off, put the little bag in. And voila, look, perfect. Super cute, super discreet, and super customizable. Awesome. Don't forget that this trash can is available in the link below. And there's a discount code you could use at 30 crafty c 2 that will give you a discount off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought, what you want to see next down in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!